Any of you remember this? Two years of exhaustive investigation and nothing to establish the fanciful conspiracy theory that Democratic politicians and TV talking heads had treated like a foregone conclusion. They told everyone there had been a conspiracy between Russia and the Trump campaign. Yet on this central question, the special counsel's finding is clear. Case closed. Case closed. Well, apparently, Senate Intelligence Chairman Republican Richard Byrd didn't get that memo because now he is among those coming under fire by Republicans to try and subpoena Donald Trump Jr. So what does all of this mean? Let's go to former South Carolina Congressman Trey Gowdy, also a Fox News contributor, more important to us. Um, Congressman, what do you make of, of what the senator is doing here? Uh, two things. Number one, the fact that Richard Burr is issuing a subpoena means the attempts to negotiate a voluntary appearance failed. Um, I know Richard Burr pretty well. He's uh, not an ambitious uh, person. He's not running for reelection. He's one of the few senators not running for president, either now or in the future. So if he's sending a subpoena, that tells me the private negotiations for voluntary appearance fail. The next question is, OK, what does he want? The Senate Intelligence Committee found no evidence of criminal collusion a long time ago. You are to be forgiven uh, for maybe not remembering that because it didn't get a lot of play in the D.C. media. But the Senate Intelligence Committee long ago said no criminal collusion. Richard Burr is not investigating obstruction of justice because he's not a prosecutor. That leaves two things, election security and the report that he has yet to publish. And my suspicion is there is testimonial discrepancy between witnesses. And Chairman Burr is wanting to give one of those witnesses an opportunity to clarify, amplify, otherwise correct a discrepancy. Uh, he did it with Jared Kushner. Remember, Kushner right. came back a second time. I think that's what Richard Burr is trying to do. Well, we're unconfused. He obviously had to know the, the Republican wrath he would face for doing so or recommending that he do so. Uh, and, and I'm wondering if the report itself, the Mueller report, has anything to do with it and any, anything attributed to, to Donald Trump Jr. that doesn't jibe with his closed-door meeting with the same committee. What do you think? Well, I think if Senator Burr were here, he would say um, he has great respect for uh, the executive branch and their ability to conduct investigations, but he's a member of a co-equal branch that also right. has a responsibility. And I do understand that a lot of our focus has been on that alleged collusion angle, but it has never been the focus of a conversation I had with Senator Burr. He has always been much more interested in the counterintelligence and the election security component or Remember, the Senate Intelligence Committee said no collusion before Mueller did. I mean, this is old news to them. So I appreciate what Majority Leader McConnell said about case closed. It's being closed on collusion for Richard Burr what is this Burr case then about, Congress? That's where I'm a little confused. If he is pursuing and wants to hear again from the president's son, what is it you suspect he is zeroing in on? Uh, witness discrepancies. I, I, I would be willing to bet that one witness said the light was red. Another witness said the light was green. He's about to publish a report that is going to be consumed by everyone, and he wants the report to be fulsome. So if you have witness discrepancy, the fair thing to do is to give those witnesses a chance to say, I had uh, an accurate recollection, a misrecollection, uh, my recollection's been refreshed. The only way to do that is to invite the witness to come back in voluntarily. Apparently, that did not work. Your next option, which I think Burroughs pretty reluctant to use, is a subpoena. When this final story is written, Neil, I think you'll find he offered a voluntary. It didn't work out. And this has nothing to do with collusion or obstruction. Right. It is about writing a report that you can have confidence in. All right, but then the president isn't going to let his son speak, just like he's been against having others speak, right? That where does this go? Well, I, I, he, Donald Trump Jr. appeared before the House Intelligence Committee and acquitted himself extremely well. He's appeared before the Senate Intelligence Committee. I would, I think the president's correct to not allow witnesses to go in front of Nadler and Schiff and people who be, wanted to impeach him. It'll come to that, that he in the end probably would testify? Um, I, I think if there is a factual discrepancy that he has the ability to clear up, keeping okay. in mind he has no criminal exposure. Uh, Richard Burr can't prosecute him for anything. No criminal exposure, no collusion. Got that it. leaves election security and writing a report.
Trey Hattie, thank you very much. Have a good weekend. Yes, sir. You too. Thank you.